It's actually one of my favorite topics when I conduct leadership and team building seminars, how to discover your talents. So I'm gonna share it here. Explore what makes you happy. Where is your fear? Where is your fire? What gives you fulfillment? What makes you laugh? And what makes you furious? Hello, welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in here. It's a pleasure to serve you. Today we will talk about how to discover your passion and purpose and talents in life using the 5F for easy recall. Have you discovered your passion yet? Because it's connected to our purpose. It's connected to our talents. It is in our innate nature waiting to be discovered by us. It's commonly understood that Passion equals suffering, which means in order to discover your talents, your purpose, you have to suffer, you have to exert effort, hard work, and discipline. Just like finding gold, this buried deep under the earth. I was employed by one of the best mining industries in Asia, and finding gold in the depth of the earth is hard, hard work. It has a lot of process until it becomes a bar of gold. So it needs persistence, consistency, discipline until you excel in what you do. That's passion. Once unveiled, however, it's no longer work. It's sheer joy, brings satisfaction, it brings fulfillment. If you read biographies of legendary people, especially in sports, because it is magnified there, Every one of them went through chaos, through hard work, sweat, and they did not enjoy the practice. It's the name of the game. You will discover if it is your passion because you will not feel it is work already when you reach the summit. It's actually one of my favorite topics when I conduct leadership and team building seminars. How to discover your talents. So I'm gonna share it here. So we have five F for easy internalization. The first F, where is your fire? What makes you jump up when somebody mentions it? Let's say someone says, let's play basketball and you light up right away. Those who do not have passion in basketball will never light up. And someone says, let's go golf. And only those with the passion, the enjoyment, the fulfillment in golf would smile and stand up. Or let's go gardening. You get what I mean. You simply love doing it and you get the fulfillment, the joy, and you usually excel at it because it's connected to your passion. The second F is fulfillment. Where do you find fulfillment? The feeling of being proud because you achieved it. You know deep in your heart that you did the best you know how and that is the result. Imagine being a part of a rescue team and everybody became safe because of the team. Imagine the feeling. Whatever they did, the hardship they went became nothing because they were able to save someone's life. The fulfillment you get out of the gratitude that they express to you is priceless. I remember one time I was a bridge over troubled water between two families. So I called them to the house, the husband and wife. One couple stayed on the other side, the other stayed on the other side and I was the bridge and so everything was cleared after the confrontation I'd rather call it care confrontation I was so grateful I became an instrument for both family for the resolution of the conflict and both families are stable right now. the third F is fun what makes you smile what makes you laugh when you are doing it is connected to your passion it's different for everybody you remember times when you start laughing and then you look at your companion and they are looking at you like you are weird or fun or crazy i really enjoy funny movies funny clips funny animals competitions adventure I really enjoy but I know one person who enjoys horror movies I said oh my god I don't know how anybody could enjoy horror movies that's called individuality and I respect your individuality whatever is fun for you is connected to your passion in 2002 one lady became the best welder in the Philippines just discovered it accidentally through fun in high school it was mandatory to choose some kind of fun thing to do. She chose welding. And she found out she liked 
welding. So she enjoyed doing that and maximized and mastered. And when she joined competition, she won in the local provincial until she became the best welder in the Philippines 2002. What makes you smile and have fun while doing it is definitely connected to your passion. The fourth F is fear. It scares the hell out of you can sometimes be connected to your passion. It's where your talents are mostly hidden. That's why you hear so many mentors saying, face your fear. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. We have seven human fears. We'll talk about that in another video. Fear has so many acronyms like false evidence appearing real or face everything and run. Face everything and rise or forget everything and run or face it, explore it, accept it, and rise above it. That's my favorite actor. Let's explore, forget everything and run. Is what you apply when you meet a lion or a crazy dog. I have a story on face everything and rise. Because I have a personal experience on that. I was surprised by my boss. He called me and said, I am going to head the training section, which never existed in my time. So I was stuck to head it. I had no idea about training. And they assured me to send me to the best training. The company paid four times my salary as training fee besides transportation and hotel accommodation. When I entered the training room, I was shocked because we were only six participants. And my batch mates were heads of departments in their companies. And here I am, a newbie, face everything and rise. It was so intensive, freaking scary, super challenging. I had to face my fear and play full out. Because we were instructed that at the end of the five-day training, we are going to be given a sealed envelope for our rating and our choice to open it when we go to the company or not. Meaning if we fail, we have to go back again and enroll. You pay more attention when you pay more training fees. I had to play full out. The fifth day, we were given that envelope and I had to eat first because the result may be devastating I would not be able to eat. So I went to enjoy my dinner and back into my hotel room I slowly opened the envelope and lo and behold I passed with flying colors and I was a neophyte. I found out later that one of our six participants did not make it for 11 years. That was the most fulfilling part of my employment. Even if I had to work hard to prepare the modules to do the conduct myself and all, it was worth it. Every training session, participants would not like to part. That was the highest source of fulfillment for me. Where is your fear? It's connected to your talent. The fifth F is what makes you furious or angry is connected to your passion or talent or purpose. My favorite example here is that of a baseball league USA. It was the final elimination game, meaning whoever won in that elimination will be the one to represent that state in the national competition. In the middle of the game, Team B was losing. The coach noticed that the guard on the fourth base was so furious with the pitcher, he was talking even bad words to the pitcher like, What are you doing with that? You should have pitch better, etc. etc. So the coach requested for a timeout and he told him, Why are you so angry with the pitcher? And he started talking again about, And he said, Okay, you go back to the ground and you pitch. And everybody was shocked. But that was the coach talking. He had no choice. He went back to the field. He held the ball as the pitcher for the first time in his life. They won in that game. And they won. And they won. And they won. And he became the best pitcher in the league a year later. What makes you furious can be connected to your talent. In summary, know thyself. Explore. What makes you happy? Where is your fear? Where is your fire? What gives you fulfillment? What makes you laugh? And what makes you furious? It can lead to the discovery of your passion, your talent, and your purpose in life.
gives you fulfillment, joy, happiness, peace, contentment. It makes life worth living. So thank you for watching today. If you learned anything at all, please comment below. Share some insights for clarity. Service to others is the highest form of fulfillment to the giver. Finally, I highly appreciate if you could click the like button below, subscribe to my channel because I am committed to post one video a week to inspire, share knowledge, experiences, to enhance the body, the mind, and spirit confidence for all viewers. Thank you so much. See you next video. I love